In this video, we're going to finish the exterior angles theorem worksheet. So the directions for this portion are to find the measure of the angle indicated. However, we're going to utilize what we did in the previous section, solving for x, in order to solve for the indicated angle. So once we solve for x, we'll plug it in to whichever angle is indicated and then solve for that measure. So let's get started with number 15. So our exterior angle theorem says that 140 degrees will equal the measure of angle S plus the measure of angle T. So 140 degrees is going to be equal to 3x plus 4 plus 8x plus 4. Now I'm going to combine like terms. I'm going to combine my x's and I'm going to combine my terms without x. So I have 140 equal to 3x plus 8x, which is 11x plus four plus four, which is eight. Next, I'll subtract eight from both sides. I'll have 132 equal to 11 X. When I divide by 11, I get that X is equal to 12. So I'm looking for the measure of angle S. Angle S we know is three X plus four. So I'm going to take three X plus four which is equal to the measure of angle S, and I'm going to plug my value of X, 12, in for X in that equation. So I'll get three times 12 plus four equals the measure of angle S. Three times 12 equals 36. So I'll have 36 plus four equal to the measure of angle S. 36 plus four is 40. So 40 degrees, equals the measure of angle S in number 15. In number 16, I'm finding the measure of angle H. So the measure of angle H is 5X minus seven. So I'm going to solve for X and then plug that in into this equation. In order to solve for X, I'm going to use my exterior angle theorem. So I'll have 14X plus one, equal to 89 degrees plus h. And h is 5x minus seven. Combining like terms, I'll combine 89 and seven. So I have 14x plus one equals 89 minus seven, which is 82. And then we're adding 5x to that. I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides to get that 9x plus one equals 82. Then I'll subtract one from both sides. So nine X equals 81. And when I divide both sides by nine, I get that X equals 81 divided by nine, which is nine. So remember, I'm taking that X value of nine and plugging it in to the equation that is equal to the measure of angle H. So I'll get five times nine minus seven which five times nine is 45. We're subtracting seven from 45. So that's going to give us 38. So 38 degrees is my measure of angle H. In number 17, I'm finding the measure of FAB. Notice that FAB is that exterior angle. So I have 13 X minus three equal to 55 plus 3x plus 2. I'm going to start by subtracting 3x from both sides in order for my x's on the right to cancel out, and I'm also going to add 3 to both sides so that my 3's on the left cancel out. 13x minus 3x is 10x, so I'll have that 10x is equal to 55 plus 2 plus 3, which is 60. So when I divide by 10, I get that X is equal to six. Now I'm going to take that value of X and plug it in for X in my equation for the measure of angle FAB. So the measure of angle FAB equals 13 times X, which is six minus three. 13 times six is equal to 78 and we're still subtracting three. So the measure of angle FAB equals 78 minus three, 
which is 75 degrees. So 75 degrees is my solution in number 17. And the last problem on this worksheet, number 18. However, before I go over the answer to this, I'd like to remind you to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Now, let's finish this up. Using the exterior angle theorem, we can see that the measure of angle YDC equals C plus B. So 15X plus five equals 80 degrees plus 6x plus 6. So I'm going to start by subtracting 6x from both sides, so my 6x will cancel out on my right. I want to isolate the terms with x on the left-hand side, so I'm also going to subtract 5 from both sides. 15x minus 6x is 9x, and that's equal to 80 plus 6 minus 5. 80 plus 6 is 86 minus 5 is 81. So when I divide both sides by 9, I get that x is equal to 9. So I'm going to take my value of x and plug it in for my equation for the measure of angle YDC. So I have 15 times x, which is 9, plus 5. That equals the measure of angle YDC. 15 times 9 equals 135, and we're adding 5. So 140 degrees is the measure of angle YDC for number 18. And that's the final solution in this worksheet. If you didn't earlier, click that subscribe button and like this video. Also, if you have any questions or you just want to send me a friendly note, leave it in the comment section below.